Um, yeah, there was smoke everywhere, literally everywhere. There was, there was people downstairs, there was bits of the block, um, the cladding falling off the block. There was already smoke in the stairwell, there was one stairwell. Even some of the stairwells, uh, some lights were not working. So it was so dark. There was no fire alarms anywhere because we don't have a kind of integrated fire alarm system. We didn't know, no alarm, no water, nothing. You know, like it was very shocking. People were still sleeping um, on the higher floors, so they didn't have a clue what was going on. I'm not even sure if half of them got out, to be honest with you. I just remember their faces and all the family, with all of them had the children upstairs and no one out, no one know where they are. We've been at this particular location for, since five o'clock in the morning, nobody's come to speak to us. This kid that called and said he was trapped in his room. So it's, it's you know, it's, it's a very horrible situation. I see the kids banging on the window, screaming. It was like, it was horrendous. On Saturday, we did have the fire brigade team come around and speak to people in their houses. Check um, alarms to make and sure the, they're just working. This Saturday. Just this Saturday. Just this Saturday. Seriously. Yeah. Yes. We repeatedly reported concerns to the tenant management organisation of the Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea, including fire safety concerns, which were not investigated. I don't know what's going to happen homeless. tonight. I'm homeless. Do you know what I mean? My house has completely been burnt out. I've got nothing left. The way it set the whole block on fire so quick. I'll just pray for the people that were still upstairs.